Hey, what's going on, Enzo? I got you. It's the 12th Gen Intel Core i9-12900KS. 12, yes, it is unlocked. Here, I should probably face it this way. So Intel sent this to me for fight night so we can upgrade my gaming PC. I actually have my computer here. And we are going to do it live. Yes, we're going to do it live. But okay, guys, it's time to get started. We are going to be replacing my previous CPU with this Intel Core i9-12900KS. Yes, it is unlocked. So Intel sent this to me during fight night and we are gonna do a quick CPU swap for my PC. So I'm gonna unbox this CPU first and then we're gonna move and open up this bad boy. Ugh, this is my little baby. This is my to-go box. Everyone say hello. They're so cute, aren't they? So precious. Hey, Mike, yeah, I'm swapping from a 12700 and I'm gonna get to the 129. Uh, this is a KF. Doesn't have integrated graphics, but the 12900 KS does. It's gonna be wonderful. All right, so I got us here on my desk. Yes, look, it's my desk. We never get to, you know, see my desk, actually. I, I'm very proud of my desk. So Mango really, really wanted me to show off. We got a whole bunch of parts ready. So of course I got my thermal paste and then I got this whole kit. I was, I was so prepared for the journey. We got this whole kit that honestly we really don't need, but I, I just like how clean it looks. But we are gonna use our anti-static wristband. So when I pull out my computer, I'm gonna ground myself. I'm very obsessed with grounding myself because the last thing I want to deal with is static. Now this room doesn't have like any rugs or anything. I mean, yeah, I pull my hair back and all that. Yes, this is my desk in this economy. All right, we got tech, it's great. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that stuff off to the side. I don't really need all of this. And let's just go ahead and open up this box so y'all can see exactly what's inside of it. I could, I'm just gonna use my nail. My nail is honestly the best tool for all this. All right. Let's see what we got inside. It opens up just like that. It's, it's honestly, look at how beautiful that is. We love a good wafer, right? The forbidden snack. <laughs> yes, the wafer, the forbidden snack. So yeah, I haven't opened this yet. This is my first time seeing this i9-12900KS. I remember when the i9s came out like almost four years ago, and they had such creative cases for them. They're amazing cases. Beautiful, you wanna eat it, all right. All right, Intel, I think this is a business opportunity for you. You can sell wafer snacks by Intel because clearly people wanna eat it. Like you could really fill them with like a thin layer of chocolate. Uh, remember when you do start selling these, just credit the stream, please. Uh, credit the stream. Remember to include us in the patent. Let's break this bad boy open. All right, so we're not gonna do too much. We're just gonna open up the side for the CPU. <laughs> right, D-Man, we have to, you gotta put it on the internet first or it's not real. I'm gonna ground myself and I'm just gonna snap myself right onto something with metal. Something with metal. Yeah, we can just take this right off and I'll give y'all a good view. <laughs> right, we need to call Intel. You love this case? Uh, this is Xtia's uh, mini case. I take it whenever I travel. It is one of the best streaming cases that I've used so far. There are other options, but this is what I use. You can also take the mesh off if you're comfortable with that. You don't have to have it in closed mode as they like to call it. All right, so that is the inside. Look at how beautiful that looks. And I'm gonna dust that off later. Or I can just wipe it off, nice. 
I'm gonna dust that off before I put it back on. I'm gonna put my mesh on my chair. Thank you so much, Mango. This is, look at this perfect tray. Look at that, perfect tray. Like, look, just get a styrofoam plate in your set. All right, so to get to this, we need to take this CPU cooler off. The fun thing about this motherboard is that you have to install uh, a separate like PCB so you can actually use all the buttons. So I can just slide this off. Can you dust bust with an air horn? Enzo, does it blow air? Truly, that's the ultimate, does it blow air? And don't be scared to manhandle your computer respectfully. Also tell this uh, cable that I own it and that it must obey me. It obey my command. There we go. Yeah, look how simple, that was so easy. Yeah, see, no problem, no problem. <laughs> All right, I'm taking off the motherboard screws because we'll have to access the CPU by taking off the CPU cooler, heat sink, all of that. Yeah, we are upgrading to a 12900KS from a 12700. I think it was a KF. All right, and then now we're gonna access the CPU by taking off the CPU cooler screws from the back. And I usually go in a diagonal formation so you can distribute the pressure evenly. But yeah, you see how like that fits? And that's that, that's my old CPU right there. So yeah, you see how that fits so snug? Like it fits so snug. And uh, we had to make sure like, we had to check the measurements so many times because like if that didn't fit, like look at how tight that is. Like if that didn't fit, you were done. Like I'd have to start looking for a whole new cooler. But I don't think we did for this. We, I think we, like the most we did was set the XMP profile and we let that bad boy go. Hey, do you think AMD or Intel? <laughs> hey, ask Intel. I'm sure they'll say Intel. <laughs> like AMD has the edge right now, but not sure how long they'll stay. I mean, for me, I stick with Intel because it's always been my best gaming experience. And they have just enough features for me to just, and I'm so familiar with it. Uh, it's just enough features for me to stick with it. I have never had issues. It's always been my go-to CPU, but yeah. <laughs> right, D-Man, ultimately we'll win the chip war. Yeah. Um, I think for us, the really, the only real power issue that we get with this computer is that the fan is so loud because it's always running like the fans at max. So everything's super loud. So we want a more expensive, I guess, but a better, a better, there we go. All right, transfer secure. I'm gonna remove my glove so I don't spread any paste anywhere. So this is our 12900KS. Great, it's wonderful. She is beauty, she is grace. I'm gonna close my alcohol up. We're gonna bring my motherboard back. But yeah, our gold corner is right here and you just line it up with the corner on the slot. Don't drag, just let it float. Just like that. And make sure it's seated properly. Actually, on top of, so that, that is actually a great, that's a great thing. So also on top of the corner, these uh, these i9s, they also have these notches here. There are four notches and they will match up. So it won't line up unless you have it in there properly. So one, two, three, four, I'd say on the, uh, not on the, the long side, the wide sides of the CPU. So notch here, notch here, notch here, and notch here at the top and bottom from respectively. So I promise you, if you're putting it in the wrong way, you won't. <laughs> you, you won't put it in the wrong way because these notches will slide it in perfect. So now that we put this i9-12900KS in, we are going to slot it down. 
All right, that's in, that's in. I'm gonna get my thermal paste. I have my NTH2 thermal paste. Uh, it's by Noxua. I like their paste. Almost dropped that. I like their paste. Uh, their uh, in kit case, their in kit paste, like their cooler paste. I actually don't mind using Noxua paste. Usually, I buy my own paste, but Noxua has some really good paste. We're just gonna do. We're gonna do one really just simple dot right in the center. Okay. See. Look, it's healthy. It's there. It's a dot. That's really all you need. Truly, just one healthy dot in about the center, and the the paste will do its job. It'll heat up. It'll spread onto both plates on your cooler and onto the CPU, and boom, that should be it. Now, always, 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 when you install new paste, make sure to check your temps and make sure that they're all pretty even average on each core so then you'll know that the paste is doing its job this is going to be the fun part because i have to keep it i have to keep it in place so the paste doesn't move too far and we're going to screw it in upside down Okay, so I'm going to put the motherboard back where it belongs, which is on this uh, case, of course. Let me slide this over gentle. This is a wood table. We don't want to scratch our wood table. All right, we're gonna put this right back in here. Now I am bad with directions. Oh no, I'm good, I did it right. Okay, so we got the PCIe side on the PCIe side. We're gonna flip it around, make sure it's sitting properly. So I'm most used to screwing it back in this way. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, all you Intel execs, uh, let me know if you had a, a meeting today that could have been an email. Yeah, that one's for you. The riser cable looks like it helps with this. Yes, yes, D-Man. So uh, since this is such a small build, it has a riser cable and it goes around the case from the GPU into the motherboard. And I really like that. I really like that. The only other time I've used a riser cable was for my uh, mining build that I did. And we had to like extend it from the motherboard so we could get all the GPUs on there. So we're done with everything internal for now. So I'm gonna just plug everything back in the way I had it. We're doing our riser cable here. Just gonna literally slot that in like we're slotting in a GPU. I'm putting my uh, PCB back in place so I can use the front of my case. It's the F panel PCB. Then I'm going to plug in the USB power cable. That is plugged back in. I'm gonna plug in the motherboard cable, which can be a little finicky, I'll be honest. Uh, it's not nice to me. So this is the, um, the CPU fan here. This is the AIO pump here. So, of course we put that there. This is just our CPU fan. All right. And then if I were, an intellectual, I would get some uh, a wrap and wrap this together, but I'm fine with it the way it is. So that is our CPU swap. Of course, I brought my cable to make sure that I plugged everything in so it can power on. I'm gonna make sure all of our power is plugged in proper. All of our cables are plugged in proper and I'm gonna get our power cable and turn it on. All right, motherboard is lit up. Hey, I turned it on, it's on. We did what we had to do, everybody. It's vibing, only vibes. This build only gets better and better. Yeah, ugh, oh, gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off now. Thank you guys so much for joining me for our chip swap. It was wonderful, beautiful, just happy to do it with y'all on this Friday afternoon. 
I'm gonna unplug everything and I'm gonna put my baby off to the side. 